What's up, friends? Um, it's Monday. I'm Sophie, and this is Random Rambles. Oh my god, I did it right the first time. I'm struggling with a name that I made up myself. Um, I mean, like, what else is new? Sophie's struggling. Um, but even though today's a Monday, like, hashtag Monday, trademarked, copyrighted, um, Garfield with a blanket over my head asking for lasagna, but honestly, if anyone's gonna make me lasagna, that would be really nice. I really could go for a lasagna. Honestly, I think I was thinking about lasagna last night. I was thinking about lasagna last night. Somebody make me a lasagna, like, pronto. Um, but yeah, um, I just want to talk about this past weekend. It was amazing. Pride was fabulous and beautiful and Every day I am more and more proud to be part of the queer community, but this past weekend at Pride, mm, exponentially, I got prouder um, to see a community that is still marginalized, that has extremely marginal marginalized people within it, to see them fighting for not only their rights, but rights of those who can't speak for themselves. Um, it just, it really moved me that, especially at the Dyke March, it became not only a way to say, like, we're here, we're queer, and we're not going anywhere, but, like, messed up things are happening. And we need to pay attention as, like, humans, but especially within the United States, we need to recognize what's going on. And Pride said, we're celebrating, but we're mourning. And if people are like, oh, no, that doesn't belong at Pride, then you don't know what Pride is. The first Pride was a riot. A police riot. Like, a black trans woman who was bisexual and a sex worker threw the first brick. Years later, Pride marches were funeral marches. Pride is a protest because while I live in New York and being gay and queer and gender nonconforming is sort of accepted, there are parts of this country and parts of this world that that's not okay. And to all my brothers and sisters out there, you're doing it. And I'm so proud of you. Beyond proud of you. And I am proud to call you part of my community. And just know that every time you are visibly queer, somebody else sees that and says, oh, look, there's someone like me. And that makes me so happy. And I'm getting a little teary-eyed, actually. Um, because I'm afraid of the future and I just don't want that to be my last pride. Um, yeah, I really don't want it to be the last one. Um, so with only a few more days left in the month of June, the month of pride. I say this to you, my queer siblings. Be free. Be joyous. Celebrate your life and others' lives. And know that we will come out fighting. All right, I love you. Um, yeah. Comment below with uh, things that make you proud or proud to be part of any kind of community um, because my little niche happens to be a bunch of Jewish gays, which is like the goal, the dream. So if um, you have found your little chosen family or of any sort, come tell me about it. If you're afraid, come tell me about it. If you're proud, come tell me about it. If you're feeling feelings, let's talk. 
I'm, I'm here to listen, not just talk. I mean, I'm talking a lot, but it's kind of my job. I mean, it's not my job, but like it could be my job. All right. Um, so yeah, um, stay strong and power to the people. Bye guys. Oh, gendered language. Oh, no, 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 no. Bye, friends.